One of the biggest questions I had about the laser cube was, can I control the laser cube via DMX? After all, stage lighting, if you use it, uses DMX to communicate with the lights. And so if you're using a DMX or network-based lighting controller, then you probably want to be able to control the laser OS software and therefore the laser cube with DMX. While laser OS is not yet able to accept a trigger from DMX directly, we can use a little workaround or a hack using MIDI. Let's dive in and I'll show you how to get MIDI control of your laser into a DMX lighting console and then be able to sync your lasers live with your lighting show, all via your DMX software. Here I am in Laser OS. Now, as I mentioned in the introduction, there's a few things that we need to do. The first is we need to get our DMX converted to MIDI, and we want to get that MIDI then into Laser OS, and that's going to take a few tools. Now, I'm doing this all within one computer. So for me, I'm using a tool called Loop MIDI, and Loop MIDI allows me to set a MIDI loopback port within the same computer. I'm also using a tool called Show Cockpit. Show Cockpit is the link to converting DMX to Laser OS. Now, in my research, there may be other tools that work, but Show Cockpit's one that I'm familiar with, so that's what I'm using. I've gone ahead, created a new session, and brought in the ArtNet input and the MIDI output. I'm taking the ArtNet over my network adapter. This, in this case, it's the Windows loopback adapter. And I'm sending that from my lighting console to here. In my lighting console, and this could be any lighting console, I've simply patched 512 regular channels. So I have a full universe of DMX control. I've turned that on, and then I've set up and configured MIDI output as well. Now, MIDI output will be set to the output device of my loop MIDI port, okay? So it's gonna come out of show cockpit to my loop MIDI port. From there, we go into the laser OS settings under MIDI, and we use the loop MIDI port, and you can choose to look at all channels or just the first channel. Awesome. If you don't see the loop MIDI port here, um, note that Laser OS scans for MIDI changes on boot up. So just restart the program if you started Loop MIDI after you started Laser OS. Now let's go ahead back to Show Cockpit. In Show Cockpit, under the Mapping tab, I've gone ahead and set MIDI Output Function Fader Note and assigned those to the control channels coming from ArtNet. For this example, I used 10, changing the pitch of each note, so each channel in ArtNet is assigned to a different pitch. Now, I'm using the same channel in MIDI here, though uh, if you do run out of pitches, I believe there's 128 of them, uh, you will go to the next channel in MIDI. Once I've done that, it's time to test. Over in LaserOS, I go ahead and I can right click on any of these items, press Assign Hotkey, and fire a DMX channel. In this case, I'm firing all of my channels at full just so that we get a nice solid stream of MIDI. As you can see, it's working. Now, from my DMX channel, I can highlight different channels and program them into my DMX lighting scenes. The cool thing about this is because we're using ArtNet and we're using MIDI, we could, in fact, put our computers in completely different places with the laser OS much nearer to the laser and the lighting computer maybe across the venue or somewhere completely different. Or, of course, they can be in the same space as well. Whatever you do, this now unlocks the ability to record laser OS cues into DMX, provided you just convert DMX to MIDI. I hope you've enjoyed this, and we'll see you in our next video.